Hey guys, it's your boy Monkey Man back with another Mobius Final Fantasy video. And God, it's been so long since I've said that. I think I missed the whole of July and just skipped straight to August. And that's for good reason as well. I started uni again and the workload has increased. So it's been really hard to kind of get onto par on my learning and balancing it with the fun. But I think I've got a nice balance now and a good hold of my university degree so I can start making videos again. And what a time to start making videos again because they just announced a new a first anniversary game balance change list that is so juicy that's so good it might just hype you guys back into playing the game again uh usually i would say that this game has been on a downward slope and i think this news is going to be the best and the biggest news to hit the mobius final fantasy gaming um universe in the global uh server that is since the dawn of the game itself i feel like the game has been going downhill since it started and now it's finally going the opposite direction and for good reason well let's get through the game balance changes all right let me put the news up on the screen there we are first anniversary game balance changes um so basically it's the first anniversary the game's been out for a year um it's been a slippery slope for the first year but finally they've finally realized yeah we have a consumer base we need to make decisions that make them happy as well and instead of just you know trying to make as much money as possible we need to make the game fun so they finally decided to make the game fun in these small little changes so we'll go through some of the changes the biggest change will be magicite drops and from what i'm reading here i don't think they're going to get rid of the distiller so the magicite drops will be an extra bonus for people that are playing if you guys don't know already when the magicite drops begin i will begin the 24 hour live stream and yes it's going to be one hell of a doozy. It's going to be 24 hours trying to see how much magicite you can make just farming the events, farming the battles, and hopefully we get some uh, some good profit. But if they're not getting rid of the distiller, I'm going to feel like the magicite drops aren't going to be as common as they are in Japan. But if they get rid of the distiller, then hopefully it's like exactly the same as Japan. Uh, you'll be able to get 20,000 a month maximum. So if we can hit that in 24 hours, then hey, <laughs> that's just crazy. But as well as that, you know, it's kind of exciting. You can finally get a reward for playing. So when you grind, you're not just grinding for um, useless items and just for the sake of it. You're grinding so that way you can also get the premium currency. Very awesome. Uh, login bonus is also going to be changed to uh, finally reflect a much more uh, happy login. So for, for the last 12 months, every login day has felt useless. It's like I didn't even feel like I was being rewarded for logging in. Like what, what, that, what the hell am I going to do with 500 red skill seats? God damn. It felt so trolly almost. It was like a troll just logging in and seeing that. But finally, they're going to reflect the, this new, uh, I guess, balancing act of <laughs> the anniversary special to finally give you the right kind of login bonuses with uh, 100 magic sites being included in the login bonuses finally. So that's a good change. Uh, let's talk about the card back expansion. They're going to give us extra space, which was it's essential because right now, like the, most of the game, 50% of the game for me has been deleting cards from my inventory. So now we have space. Finally. Yay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Mobius Day challenges. Finally, on the Mobius Day, there will be now two level two ability cards dropped. Platus Lagoon will be fully open and the stamina will be restored with an additional 88 extra stamina. So it's going to be more rewardable to play on the Mobius Day than it was before. That's a good bonus. Um, there's also these extra details they can talk about. Yeah, I, I always when I first reviewed Plato's Lagoon, I talked about it always being fully open on Mobius Day, and when, when it came to Mobius Day, and I went to the lagoon and it was never opened, I always wondered why. And yeah, so finally they're gonna do that. Um, and now, now that video on the Plato's Lagoon is 100% legit and isn't just like wrong about the Mobius Day. That's good as well. Um, and the 88 extra stamina. That's that's really 100% worth it. Uh, battle tower rewards are gonna grow i think also something they're changing something to do with the rankings i can't remember exactly but it's not in this uh information right now basically prismatic rewards and that will be available for um just doing the battle towers themselves which is going to be good because um we've been trying to get to the top rank like i think top 500 rank to try and get these items which um you know it's really hard to get top 500 especially for the last 12 months when there's been hundreds of hackers taking up those spots Ah oh, man, Square Enix, finally you're doing something good and giving the rewards that everyone deserved this whole time. But at least now, yeah, better late than never. Get the hype rolling. We're going to be super excited for the rest of this information. It's not, it's not going downhill. It's only getting better. Um, every month when you first log in after the update, you receive one sum ticket as a token of the gratitude. Mm, free tickets. Oh, is this the same game? Is this the same game? I don't know. I don't know anymore. 
Uh, and then a Gigantosaurus is going to get new areas, three different routes that also have um, their own types of Gigantors with extra boosted skill options. So even more skill seed bonuses and uh, skill seed farming throughout the Gigantosaurus, as well as um, getting more gold for your cactus. So that way you can use more gills. Don't know what you're going to use the gills for, but hey, it's a little bonus. I take all the bonuses where I can get them. No bad news as of yet. Ability cards, so we got easier extra skill unlocks. So they've made it, I think, the the drop rate, the unlock rate faster. So it's going to be easier to get those extra abilities. Yay, yay. And then um, augmentation requirements are going to be easier too because the material amounts for going from two star to three star ability cards uh, will be reduced. So that way you can easily get to the three star. And then the struggle is when the four stars and the five stars, as per usual. Uh, so that's not a big change, but it's good that they, they're thinking about it. Increase starting slots for weapon. Two more slots. I think it's two. Yeah, two more slots. Yes. Yes. <coughs> oh. Okay, that's it's good. It's good. Finally, more slots. You know what I mean? I've been waiting for that so long. And um, per stamina point, you're going to get reduced time. To three minutes per stamina point interesting so if you explore an area your weapon boost modification will complete earlier than before so by you playing the game you get rewarded this is what i've been saying for years bro well it's only been a year so this is what i've been saying for 12 months give them a reason to play so they can you know enjoy playing oh this is good news this is good news now we're talking japanese price 1500 magicite mm. yes kappa kappa clap that was um, so yeah, so you receive 600 tickets, go start, ability ticks, all the good stuff for only 1,500 meta site. Finally, it's now farmable to actually be able to get the gift box every month and <laughs> still roll multiple times. So it's finally free to play, I think. It's finally available, like, you guys can come back and play the game now. It's, it's, it's free to play now. Come on guys, download it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. A growing egg four star available for purchase oh, that's not important to me but it's still good that it's there in the shop definitely vision of summoning rules yep going to the japanese version hey 500 meters i still summon interesting it's japanese version good 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 so it's very similar to the japanese version now um supreme cards will be added to the lineup But they will have a very low rate of being summoned. So if you manage to get one, you are supremely lucky. Like that little pun there. Little. So that's pretty good news though. That, that means that there are going to be some people getting the Supreme cards now. That's going to be cool. I've had one. I've had, as you guys know, I was lucky enough to be one of those uh, lucky one in a million to get Supreme cards while being free to play in like one summon or one shot summons. So this is good news for everyone who has missed out so far. They can finally join in just um, rolling normally. Uh, and now that there's more chances for free to play people to summon, this could be good news for supremeness. Supremeness. Exclusion of cards from the summoning lineup. They're getting rid of 58 ability cards, 58 trash cards from the lineup. Let's see what they are. Ares, piece of shit. Siegfried, piece of shit. Mephel, suffered, least piece of shit. All the piece of shit cards. I'm not seeing anything useful here. Yes, yes. It's all the basic ones. The current attack and... Um, AoE single attack and AoE ones. So these are all just the basic ones that shouldn't be even in this uh, summoning. Oh, this is good news, guys. The balance changes. This is not really. I don't know why they called it a game balance changes when it should just be fixing the game. <laughs> like it should just be first anniversary making the game work. Or maybe they should be like. This shouldn't even be the first anniversary. This should be like the re release. Like this is this doesn't feel like anniversary. This is like a whole new game, boys. This is a good times. This is a good times. Ooh, YouTube comments. That reminds me, guys. If you like the video, please thumbs it up. Subscribe to my channel. Comment below. Tell me how you feel. I know a lot of people have been getting over the game, but a lot of people still are into the game and love it. And that this news is going to be so good for them. And also, I think this news will probably entice finally more people. Like I, I'm. I've always been critical of the um, the welcome back campaigns they've had and how useless they are when i said like no one will come back to a broken game 
uh, you know, what you need to do is entice people to play the game with a proper game that actually rewards you for playing instead of a game that says, give me your money and, you know, maybe you can get something out of it. It's, it's like it was a gambling game for like the whole last 12 months. It was a gambling game. So this is the actual Welcome Back campaign right now. This is the only like time I can say, guys, come back. Like I've never said through any other Welcome Back campaign, if you know me, if you've subscribed to the channel, you know me. And I've never said that, you know, the Welcome Back campaigns were actually worth it. I always said that, you know what, the game's still not fixed. Please bring us Magisite drops and all this other good stuff. This this change, these these balances right here, this is what I wanted. Every single time I've said something on the video, it's one of these things. 100%. So finally, it's time, guys. The game is finally fixed. I will be streaming, hopefully, as soon as the uh, Magisite farming drops during the update. I'll be farming the Magisite in a 24-hour live stream where I'll be keeping count of how much Magisite is farmed and hopefully seeing, setting the standard for how much you can get within a certain time frame. So I'll, I'll also put the details of that experiment below on the details of that video when I um, upload it to YouTube, just describing how much you can make within an hour, how much you can make within four hours, and then how much you can make in 24 hours of constant gaming on a, I think I'm gonna go for a cheap node um, on the first level, on the first map, but I'll, I'll have to work out where the best areas are during that stream as well, but We'll see what happens. We'll be playing non-stop. I have so many Alexas saved up, boys. I'm talking Alexas on Alexas. I'll just show you how much Alexas I have saved up. Oh, it's so good. I have 2,500 Magisite. <laughs> I haven't played in a while, actually, guys. So um, I was saving up 3,000 Magisite. But then I gave up on saving up the Magisite because I just wasn't bothered logging in anymore. Because <laughs> it just felt like it was too long to log in. <laughs> and get the extra 100 Magisite because all I was doing is logging in for the Magisite. Uh, where is my items? Let's see, I think. Yep. 145 Alexas. I think that'll make it through 24 hours. To get hyped for the 24 hour live stream, guys, it's going to be lit. Hope to see you guys all there. This is me, Monkey Man. If you like the video, you know what to do. And I'll see you guys later. Monkey Man out. Yeah.